Pakistan station of Liar from Pierce. Hey! In a patchy sound, you mean sell man? You know a young general present him by the sound. Now this some boy. Union Media TV, Lee Major the Boss has said, subscribe, like, leave some comments. That's how we think there. <laughs> a simple slip, and your skin get burned. I don't know if you want to use your media to say. It is a feeling. Union Media TV. Big subscribe. Well, I'm not some hard shape, chocolates, and a bunch of roses. Figures will be the treats, sexy poses. Make me y'all keep seeing me choosers. When we're seven of them supermodel clothes, well, this is Ragalax, and you're watching Union Media TV. Yeah, man, just hit subscribe and like, yeah, yeah, yeah. People, welcome to our next great edition of Rizzo. We are Rizzo right here, Union Media TV. And our special guest today is no other than Ragalax. Well, I go on, Ragalax. Stay up, Regin. Yeah, give thanks for having me. No? It's yes, a pleasure. Brother. Give thanks for giving me your time. I could reason up about the high journey and you know, the music and thing. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Well, me know the journey, but today we are going to share the journey with them people out there. True, 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 See? true. Yeah, man. So, first things first, Raga. Um, which, you're born in Jamaica, right? Yes, so, man. Which part of Jamaica? So, I come from a place named George's Valley. George's Valley, they're right on the outskirts of Mandeville, you know? So that's in Manchester. Well, Galchester, it has recently been yeah. renamed and Galdeville. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, all right. Uh, what life was like as a youth I grew up as far as? Well, as a youth, from what we can remember, we have a decent childhood still, you know? Yeah, I grew up with mommy and daddy and, yeah, you know? Look at church and you know, decent look, you know, family, you know, me I say growing up, and I go act like say, it was different. Yeah. Decent look of family growing up and thing, you know, and I would look a community well respected and thing and you know, no road boy thing and them thing there. You know, we go to school and go to church and come home and go go to bed early and them so like. All right. So tell me when you make it make it to the US now and thing. Well, um, uh, it was in 1988 while I was um, finishing up high school in Jamaica. Yeah, I was halfway through fifth farm actually. Yeah, getting ready to um, graduate and do my CXCs and them something. And, you know, right in the middle of this, so we just up and migrated to the US. So you finished school there, sir? Yeah, I finished school here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah I finished school here. Actually, um, finished school. Um, before leaving there, I got the opportunity to do my first concert at the school. And then shortly after that, migrated to the U.S., you know? Okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're reaching your new, in a New York. You come directly first? Yes, yes, yeah, right up uh, in Westchester there. Wow. Come straight. Now, yeah, my grandmother, um, she migrated here first, and she was the one who filed from father and thing, and the whole would just come in one time, and Okay. She was up in Westchester, so that's where we had. So you did you know, the music from back home before, even before you come here? Well, yeah, like I said, me did the first concert there at my high school when me did there about Fifth Farm. And a little bit before that, me start, you know, write lyrics and DJ car. Before that, it was more like a dancing thing. It's to be honest, we used to like the dancing thing. And them time there as a youth, me remember sometime with these Puma sneakers and yeah, these, um, remember having all one of them zip zip jacket, <laughs> you know what I say, and thing. Mercury jacket. Yeah, yeah, Michael Jackson thing, and them so there, and thing as a youth. And then shortly thereafter, it wasn't long, that, 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 that period never last long, you know, till I um, used to, um, my father was a taxi driver. So what happened is that he used to have all of the bad dancing. All, especially Wadat. Wadat have a huge impression for me as, as a youth. What that with Charlie Chaplin and Danny Culture and Peter Ranks and big up to Peter Peter Ranks, Ranks in the way of day. Yeah, Peter, my friend, a foreign <laughs> become no Peter, yeah. And then you also have Charlie Chaplin, then pass through a special guest and things. So, what that was really the sound I mean, that say me used to really listen to on cassette a lot, <laughs> you know what I say. Me used to hear the other sound, but I resonate with um, with what that more, okay. Yeah, you used to love what that with Barry and yeah, yeah. All right, so you're there in New York. Tell me about how you're getting at the music thing in New York now. New York. Once me drop in at New York, I want to tell you how New York set up now. So I come to New York and let me say I finish high school. 
And the thing with New York High School is that an extra year, because Fifth Farm of Jamaica is really 11th grade. But in America, they go to 12th grade. So I have to do an extra year. Now, getting into music in New York was all right. So, car reason we are reason. So we can't go all places because we have the whole time. Yeah, man. Reason we are reason. Right. Reason we are reason. So after me leave, before me leave Jamaica, at high school, I have a bridge in my book. See? He used to come check where the school named Captain Remo. See? So Captain Remo become my bridge and thing and is a youth who used to taught me because he knows me a DJ, he knows me is a bad DJ, but me don't really get to prove it because me is a warm body. You understand? Me can't go a dance at night time like them, go perform and thing. And so that's why even the concert at the school was so significant because that's the first time I really see me perform and say, yo, but you're an artist, you can perform. Anyway, when I see him and tell him I head to New York now, he must say, I joke you again. Come in the right behind you. I say, I lie, I tell man. I say, I left. Boom. Like, me, I think it was the first of February we come up. And him come up a month later, I think, by the, before the 10th of March, him there here. But me there, Westchester, and him drop a Brooklyn. So him drop right into the something. So by the time he get in touch with him, <laughs> him do all four dance already. <laughs> by the time he find him, so I say, I joke, I say, what do you say, man? And thing, so I link up with him now and start make me look away as in and out. But if you tell you the truth, it wasn't right away. Probably about a year later after I come up because, you know, high school and them thing there and then, you know, you always just you have to drive and X, Y, Z. So, yeah, it, it probably about a year before I start dibble dabble in the business and thing and got introduced to some producers like um, Sons Jr. was one of the first um, person down at Brooklyn, they have a um, new land. Whoa, big up, big up, big up, big up. Carnell, anywhere you're there, big man. You see all you? May I tell you, yeah. Because I never know you them time. I'm from you can boom, bam. You know, see a veteran. Them. Big up, Carnell, big up, big man. Big, yeah, and all right. After that, now, we also used to vice a youth named O'Neill Clark at Queens. So, yeah, bring me an O'Neill place and thing. I remember going to O'Neill place. And uh, O'Neill was the man who looked at me and tell me, say, yeah, bad artist, talented, but you need to go do some sit-ups and work on your abs and make sure so you can hold certain notes and things. And these are some of the things, simple things we leave out of music nowadays. Like I remember I definitely have to go back and like start doing some sit-ups and so I can really maintain my vocal when time I sing. And you know what I say? And then even sometimes when I record, if I don't feel so good, I go do two push-ups. And thing, I open up my vocal cards and thing. So, yeah, I may have to credit them, man, because of them things that is important as an artist to maintain your, your, your vocal level over the years. So, O'Neill sent me back, go, 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 go do my sit ups and thing, and I don't think I ever get to record for him. Never really get to record for him and thing. And after that, now, um, Remo really get busy. Me, I go back and forth to school and I do music in between, because them time I start to look at college and thing. And, I remember now we we'll get linked up with Rhythm One because all the things start at them time they know. Me the off really the year. And by the time he finished with my schooling for coming, Remo shot gone at Jamaica because he done get nominated for artist of the year at New York and be a things are traveling over the place. So right now I'm saying, well, why Jamaica I'm always safe if we can dig back out that thing. So when we ready for start the music now, I read him one. So I'm about Doc them and Doc them the day White Plains at one start recording with them. I remember I do a song, which was my first recording. A song where me I say, Cry out for South Africa, and in a year from one love Mandela. Ball out for South Africa, and in a year from one love Mandela. It's far the better, not far the worse. We put in Mandela and take out the clerk. Yeah. So that song, I think that song that come out from final, you know? Yeah. Two tunes. Yeah, it was that song. That was the side A. Yes. The next side uh, ah, Give I... a helping hand to the youths of tomorrow. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I told <laughs> Too many of them are victims of the ghetto. Oh, yeah. Papa him take off before the youth start to creep. Mama, oh, if you could have found that for me, brother. I still oh. have it, man. Brother, yeah, I didn't remember that song. I remember the other one. 
See, big up yourself, Doc. Big up, Rhythm One. Big up, big up, big up, big up, big up. So, yeah, and then, you know, we started working with Rhythm One. And then we moved to Queens and um, had uh, three tracks and the, um, the compilation album with Yankee B and Devon Clark. And I think Wayne Smith was on that album too. Yeah. Wayne Smith, yeah. Yeah, rest is so R.E.P. Wayne Smith. Big, big, big up, big up, big up Wayne Smith. Them on the Frankie Paul also. Oh. Instrumental in the early part of our career. You know what I say? Because when time we don't know how to record and know how to, they were there and they were showing certain things. You know what I say? So big up them, man. They like, rest in peace, the two of them. You see me? Yeah. And reading one now, we uh, we did that um that compilation album from my record. Album was okay, but shortly thereafter, reading one went on there. You know what I say? And that kind of threw we up for grabs again. So we had to start working on the independent stuff. And we're still working on the independent stuff, basically. You know what I mean? So we did um, connect. I mean, after the reading one, I did Chocolates and Roses, which I recorded in Jamaica um, for myself. But the reading was for a bridge and was a close family friend. And um, that song took off. Like, it really took off. You know what I'm mean? saying? It was a good impression. And it and Bright Light, Big City. I did them um, together. And um, Chocolates take off. Bright Light Big City was more of a crossover. More Bright Light Big City, I hit now. <laughs> With the new trap dance all thing. Yeah, Bright Light Big City definitely would I hit now. Maybe I need to put it back out. But um, the Chocolates take off and give me a name, especially around the New York Tri State area, and, and, and spread out. And, and go on to this day, Chocolates is my biggest song. And um, get more streams than the, um, the, all the other songs. All right, the Chocolate City tune, the one you record around now, Bonnie Lee. Chocolates and Roses, yeah. Chocolates and Roses. I recorded a Bonnie Lee in a Jamaica um, back in 1990... I say 97. Both them times. Both them times, yeah, yeah. How that end up happen? Brethren, <laughs> I went to Jamaica on a vacation. And at the time, I linked up with some of Garnet people them. Shortly after Garnet, they dropped out. About three years after Garnet dropped out, and I... Met some of his relatives based on the fact that I was no um I was doing music in New York, but me have a cousin Bob who did link with him. He always I met the link in the streets and I'm linked with one of Garnet uncle and um the sisters and they were doing harmony for this bridging who was a close family friend. It was just so coincidental that on both sides we know the two people him. So the bridging I sing I know him from New York because I'm related. He, he, he related to me, um, my family in New York, or he was a close friend. So I go down there now, I'm linking. I say, yeah, yeah, and boom, 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 some, I do some recording. So I say, yeah. Yeah, the rhythm, I say, yo, I have a song, I'm going to put one in there. I say, yeah, no problem. But um, I remember going to the studio the first day, recording the song, him recording the theme song. And then now, uh, we're supposed to go back, <laughs> go record the harmony with the daughter them. This man, you ready for go to the studio, I'm going to check this man, this man, they had the bar, brother, early. So I just borrowed the master from him, the, 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 the reel to reel from him. And to oh the 16 track did set up, the track them did use up, you know what I say? So they, they read him upon a push and a track. He have theme vocals upon a push and a tracks. And then now me have chocolates, the lead vocal, upon a one track. But there's two tracks left. If you put on him back up, if you put on his background vocals. So what I had to do was borrow the, 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 the reel to reel, go to the studio, Bonnie Lee studio, be R.I.P. Bonnie Lee, uh, <laughs> record the data them, mix the tune, clear off the track, and then take back the track to him now so he can't have him to a track now to put on the background. <laughs> so I, can't, I, I could never give, I, could, I can't remix chocolates because <laughs> so. Carry back, go give him at the bar. And come back to Florida you now, and, and they're Florida, I'm calling me. I said, Boy, I'm here, one song like it for the radio. I said, Yeah. <laughs> I said, yeah, I hit that lot, so start playing it for the radio of Florida right away. And then, big up Jawais. Big up Jawais. Jawais was the first person to play that song on vinyl. In, in, in um, when, 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 we get, when we just get the test press, I remember, I think we were in the Mount Vernon. And Jawai's get the go. He said, this is a big song. Yeah. Yes, man. I remember that <laughs> clearly. It was the first. So when we get the arm, um, they, they press them. And, and, and Kerry go get Jawai's. 
Yeah, man, Jawais passed it right away. Yeah, big up Jawais, for yeah, real. Yeah, big up Jawais. <laughs> yeah, man, big up Jawais, man, for real. Yeah, and then after that, no, you know, it just take off and start, you know? And then big up, you, you see, attack where attack, so I'm going to talk the business, because I'm going to understand how it go around here. When you're an artist and you live in New York, or I don't know about no other state, but New York, it's different. I mean, I know if it's the time when me come to New York, if maybe it was different before, but to make it in a New York, you know, easy. So you have to learn from the people them, who do the thing. So one at a time, before my release, but shortly before that, big up my virgin Lanzo. I don't know if you know Lanzo, a white virgin from Florida, but um, Culture Shock and produce. Okay, yeah, yes, yeah, man. yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember one time, Remo used to work with him. Yeah. Remo used to work yeah. with him and um, <clears throat> we link up and him come through one time and check me. And him said, boy, I want if he, um, him, him have two errands him want to do so. I want if me want to because I carry him. I said, no problem. But when me never realized what the man had the bridging, the bridging was going around to all the record shops and dropping our vinyls and picking up money. So me I said, I said, you do this? He said, yes, you, you produce it through them and you take it to the shop them and if them like it, them keep it and then what happened now is like an um, consignment basis. So if them, yes, I do this. I saw this as something like, so me I said, all of the song them, we Bob Marley them and, and thing, I just saw them just press the tune them and carry them at the record shop them and leave. He said, yes, that's how it goes. So the business go. Me I said, okay. So, so the business go. So we start press, so, so come start press, and we say, business, anyway, if you make money, and it's up, this is different from just singing and, and, and hope, so yeah, go, this is actually being a part of the business. So I start pressing vinyls from then till me start the CDs and digital and, you know what I'm saying, and just, you know, some big up Lanzo, Lanzo was inspirational in getting me into producing my own stuff and, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and create. So we had the CDs and vinyls from back then, and you know what I'm saying, so, you know. Yeah, man. Okay. Yeah. Jano, Jano, yeah. Jano. Can me see, yeah. me see one of them, one of them various artists thing where he usually put out. Yes, cars. man. He used to do some good productions. One used... thing I like with him, he know of a promote. Oh, yeah. Thing, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, that was his, the, the, I think that was the key thing about him. We learned that from him too. A lot of things. A lot of things. One <laughs> time we had him even go to Jamaica and, and, and uh, learn from him doing this again. But, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the business is a business like any other business. And a, a lot of times where we get caught up in it is trying to get a bus. So we ignore all of the signals of the business that we need to pay attention to. And even right now, I'm still a learn. I'm still a learn because as, a, as an artist who make it to, the, to this far, it's because... I was doing some things that some other artists wouldn't do. But I had to base on the fact that that's what I know I had to do in order to get my music to the forefront. And one of those things was just, um, and I'm not afraid to talk. I mean, am I music them and I have the producer, them produce it. If, if, me, if, I, if I produce, I produce a song for me. And I think it's a good song. And I see after a certain amount of time, a couple of years, I'm not doing nothing with it. You put it out. You know what I say? I mean, especially if Mister say I'm not really a plan to put it out again. After a couple of years, you know, think him a plan to put it out again. So, and me not really steal no credit. Me give him and produce a credit, and me use mines, and it's been working for me that way. It's just that going forward, um, it's gonna be more self-production in terms of full productions. Yeah, because it limits what you can accomplish when you have a work that way, you know? So, and it's all a part of growth in the business, you know? Definitely. Well, all right, tell me your first project. You know, sir, Rhythm One, you know? What's Rhythm One? Besides Rhythm One. All Rhythm right. One, yeah, Rhythm One is like your first, the first project where you're deaf on, but may I talk your personal My first personal project. first, first, all right. All right. It was the um, actual the chocolates and the bright lights um, vinyl. Um, what would I call them? Thing that them time seven uh, seven inch. You press some seven inch. The seven inch, yeah. And you press some twelve. Some inch, twelve. Or oh, twelve inch. The twelve and inch. An so, inch so the seven inch was the ones that come out first. Yeah. 
I think I had a few pressing on that, you know. I had a few pressing on that because... The, you know, say, I would like, if anybody watching this, maybe Jawais, but I have a final copy of the first person of Chocolates and Roses. It may have been a dynamic sound. 45? 45. The first original press. I don't really remember, you know. I know I have it. I can't check The first know. original I test remember, press. I remember exactly. I don't name. quite remember because I didn't really have a label at the time and I never really all remember how. I didn't really know how to do that something there. So I did have to get some from Jamaica before I come up. And I don't remember. Maybe it was a white label. I don't remember. But I know so after that we did repress some from Black Mind, which yeah. was the Orange Way Attack, yeah. and we did do some 12-inch. But I think, if I'm not mistaken, the first press, I, I'm not, I'm, I don't even remember. <laughs> I don't even remember. But we did do some other vinyl, too. Because I have all, uh, me and Ken Sirius from vinyl, and um, my song where they come out from the, um, the Music Is My Life album called um, Shot By Far. And then on the flip side, we did a, uh, have a song with him, um, Round Here No Good Again, and thing. But um, it was distributed by um, a, a company out of um, up Europe. I um, think a string bean, I think. Music is my life. That are the, that are the project we have, um, Where is the Love? Music is my life, right. So music is my life now came after now, where I had, um, all right, after the world, black, um, black, we never reach a black man. Yeah, we reach a black man. We reach a black man? Yeah. yeah, so after I leave Rhythm One, me do the um the chocolates and the bright lights. Then about a year later, I link up with Black Man, get introduced to them to my brother, Mad Lunatic. When I go Black Man now, I work with Richie Roots for a while, me I work for a while. And we did original originally put out a project which is no longer out right now. But um I put out an album called Mr. Lexenstein. And um we work with Richie Roots about Four or five years of Black Mind, and we had some a few releases. Um, there was a song, New Millennium, um, and um, we did um, we did an album, Life, and we had re-released the album under a different name or something like that. But um, we work with for a while. Richie wrote a good youth and thing and thing. We just um, split after a while and we go independent, you know? Yeah. All right. So when you try down independent now, that's when the music, music is, is my, my life. life. Yeah. Play, you know? So with music is my life, what happened now is that um, after working with, um, like, like um, I was with working at Black Mind, with Black Mind recording the album for... Like I said, I was there on and off for a few years. And we did get an album, which was really a, a, a nice like, underground album. And we put it out, pan, um, it all reached certain places. But real is real. We attack. We are keep it real. Now, girl, nothing. Break up Rich Roots and the whole Black Mind family. I'm bridging them. But what happened at the time, the production wasn't where I felt comfortable. And I tried to get the production to get... Because at times Sizzler dropped like the real thing album where things are played live and thing and we wanted to compete there and we never really get that type of vibe there. So kinda of tried on. You know what I say? But within the time I was working, I was recording for other producers who some were not putting stuff out while some were. So when me leave Black Mind now, when me do me compile some of them um, projects and put together the music is my life album. So it's just a compilation of tracks from different different producers who I was working with over the time. And um, because I was at Black Mind, I didn't get to focus on them and those, some of those producers didn't release those tracks. So I just compiled a bunch of them and just shut out the Music Is My Life album. And it was a huge success. Huge, huge success. You know? So I saw the Music Is My Life project. Where's the love get Wally Pop player? Where's the love? Wally Pop player. And it's so funny. Where's the Love I thought would be like the song from the album. But brother, 
Chocolates and Rose beat them. Chocolates and Rose. But Where's the Love is one of my most... I love that song. Love that Me song. personally love it. One of my favorite. And um, a lot of people favorites. But while we are here on this topic, that song is not currently available on the new Music Is My Life album. Right? However, the song is available at www.ragalox.com. I would just want to say no more. <laughs> at least it's available still. Yeah, yeah. You can get it at ragalox.com, but it's not available online at iTunes, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. All right. So um, before we go past it, tell me about the journey. Cause you, you get to travel and go all the places. Yeah. All right. So um, after releasing... Oh, they know. Oh, they know. Uh, no, man. Yeah. Oh, they 2000 and, 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 and uh, yeah, around five. About five now, because I left Black Mine around 2004 or five. So, but they are the 2005. Six now. now. So, six now, we compile the Music Is My Life album and release it. When we release it now, we press the CDs and start the street. Start the road down, the album is selling very good. So, start get some shows. Now, I try to remember the years them correctly because I just I call how the whole thing I play out and I never realized how so fast it play out. So, at the time, I was a part of the radio family in New York because through being a part of... I feel like me I rush it. Hold on. All right. When we did a black man and we started the releases... In order to get out, we start pressing CDs in the basement and start selling them in the streets. All right? So that was one of the first times I've selling CDs in the streets. So after we start selling the CD in the street, now we start target, oh, we'll get earplay. So, head up to the radio station, 93, and um, link up with um, Bobby Channel 1. Seeing, was a part of the program, became a part of the program for a while with him and T.K. Smith. This was before Jeff Sarge. Now, while we were doing that, um, it come to a part now where we have to start get sponsors in order to get earplay. So we would go out and seek sponsors to get earplay and get my music played. So from that experience, you know, when we released my own project, I was a part of the radio community. I think by this, I was working with Dave Judah now. See? Now, while working with Dave Judah, I also became a part of the EWF, Ethiopian World Federation, who at the time, Baba Rashan now decided that the place to be in 2007 was in Ethiopia on the dawn of the millennium because it was the new the change of the new cycle because Ethiopia is seven years behind and rare. So we decided that Ethiopia is a place to be. So we did embark on Ethiopia for the 2007 and the Millennium concert in a mescal square with Luciano, Mikey General, and a whole lot of artists from all over the world. It was Bridging. That was the highlight of the journey. I think nothing else, no matter what I accomplish in my business, can really surpass that whole experience there. You see me? I say it's like, think about being in New York City for 1999, new 2000 party. Yeah. So, when we reach Africa for that, my lad, Yeah, maybe not, not, nothing else going to go wrong and anything. <laughs> yeah, you understand? So for the, for the journey, the, the, the Music Is My Life album where with the work and that combination there through the help of Dave Judah also and, 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 and um, yeah, that will lead to your experience. And then the following year, we went back, go to Kenya. You know me, I said with Luciano again and performed thousands of people in um, Nairobi. And the album again. So what happened now? After coming from Africa the second year, we decided now, because we did kind of depend on a vibe where 
we did a pre Jam Messenger um, Productions and starting set the headquarters in Ethiopia. I will come back to the West. I don't know. There's so many things. At um, that time, they want to pass up go down with Lucy. Holy part things go down with Lucy. And yeah. So, you know, we just start focus on my thing and do the, um, the Step in the Babylon album. Yeah. Work with um, Big Up Yourself Goldie Francis. Yeah. And, and we started recording the Step in the Babylon album. I link. I, actually, I think um, I link up yeah, me and, link, me and Goldie link before. And with him, they work on, uh, produce um, a couple tracks for me. Actually, he produced Water Gone, which was actually on the uh, Music Is My Life album. So um, we had a working relationship. And then, um, remember, because Limey, my bridging, Limey, more big up yourself, um, was the one who introduced me to Goldie, because me and Limey go to school. And Limey and my friend, we play ball together from high school and something. So um, I tell Limey, say, yo, you know, Feel like me to do an album for Goldie and thing and I say, well, you know, the youth are producer and him know for producer and things. So work with Goldie, great album. Great album. You get, get me Richie Spice on that, you get me Loot and Fire on that. I have a track on that to me and uh, Mikey generally do an Ethiopia with um Jalud, which is an Ethiopian singer who's big right now, never that big right then, but now I'm huge. And um finish the album. So when me I record the album now, me, um, I, I, I took the M-Box to Jamaica, seeing, and the parents them did a, um, uh, uh, we, did, we did have a, um, I did some construction for the house out there, but I did it unfinished. So I take the M-Box, rent a microphone, rent some other local equipment we didn't need. And we do most of the recording in the house down there. Carry the producer. I remember bringing even Limey. Come to the harmony, they mandate something there down there. And thing, and then now, we did have the whole of the song that we had look for to do the album. But when time I reach Jamaica for start record, I hear Limey upon a tune. And I say, brother, I want that rhythm there. So I tell me, say, um, the rhythm was for um, Andrew Cool. I say, you know Andrew? I say, Andrew, Andrew. I say, yes, I did record for Andrew already. The record for a rhythm for Andrew already. So I say, yeah. Yeah, man, tell Andrew some want to cut the rhythm. So like me, I was tune him, I say, rolling thunder. He done a she done a plunder. Didn't they know that? The days and the weeks are just numbers. Banana na pop. Skylarking rhythm. Skylarking. I say, yo, me want that day. Because I had always, back then when me I work with Goldie you now, me start say, yo, because before that, I didn't really get to work with a one-on-one um, -on -one producer. It's most of the time, I come in and record a song for a bridge in a one and thing. So now me have a producer, we say, him line out a set of rhythms. We say, all right, boom, car, all right. Let me show you how deep it is. If you listen to Stepan in the Babylon album, them music, them, them, them call them Camelback Reggae. All right? The re, you know who called it that? A brethren named Clive Hunt. Because these are his students. You understand? So at this time, I drop in a Clive student, then we are getting them Camelback Reggae. Big so, up Clive Hunt. He, anyway, Clive there. Clive Hunt, Clive Hunt, a genius. A genius. Though. See it? So when him start showing me them camel back reggae, you know, these are the things where you da give man like all uh, Winston Mack and of uh, you da give Israel vibration and yeah, understand? So me start kick them inna them belly with it. See, so them say, oh, all right, we like that. So when me hear this stand and up top now, me I tell this bridging, I say, yo, me want to read him there because me there show him say, I want to remix a tune without using the lyrics of the tune. You see me? So me I go remix the tune. But me not sing the original tune, me I sing my own original tune, you know, related to the tune. So when you come with the skylarking, 
Me just say always leaning on the corner like the corner got dropped. So you always in a confrontation with the cops. Come off of the streets with your one bag of chat, boy. Your bad man this eye, uh, your bad man that eye. Uh, go get a job or go open a uh, capture piece of land or go farm some. Overall, I uh, want question me want ask when this madness gonna stop. So if every man I go stand up on the roadside and bussy, eh, who go grow the food if he go in a me dochi? He sends me in if he go in a me cochi. All them local man ya moussa croffy. Instant connection. Instant connection because the rhythm is skylarking and the concept of the song is skylarking. So it get a whole heap of rotation. Whole heap, all the Jamaica, RFM, Ran Mushet, big up yourself, give thanks. And all the others who, you know what I say? Even Clinton Lindsay, big up yourself because he went number one on, 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 on the foundation chart. You see? And the album jump up at number two, the one at the time and thing. And me I say, limited promotion. You know what I say? So I find out so the idea connect. You see me I say? Yeah, I saw me. I said, Now I want to hear it everywhere we go, man. Yeah. Hear that shoot yeah. everywhere we go. Man. Yes, man. Yes, man. So, I don't, I don't vibe there. I don't vibe. That was the idea. That was the idea for, for, for that song. And it kind of, you know, I say, ideas make music. I mean, other artists, I use the idea now still. You see me? But yeah, you know, I say, yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> Well, all right. Tell them about some of the, tell them, tell them where they can find other music or where they can look for you on social media and all them things, brother. All right. So, um, right now, me all over social media, any, um, R-A-G-G-A-L-O-X. Um, you can go to the website, ragalox.com, R-A-G-G-A-L-O-X.com. You have the music, they have the merchandise, you can get the video of them. You can, um, try to keep it up on current. With um, what is going on currently, and I can beat myself, you know, because, yeah, I have to go upload. I'm sure I did go live, but I wanted that's something that we need, we need, yeah, 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 we alone and, and, and the small team, so you don't know. Anyway, that's a whole well, another story. <laughs> but um, yeah, the website is up, the YouTube is up, um, Ragalox, uh, YouTube slash Ragalox, um, Facebook. Uh, real Ragalox music, uh, real underscore Ragalox underscore music for Instagram. Um, Ragalox with a two X for the Facebook page. You have a one X Ragalox too, but you don't really matter. You have a one X Ragalox, two X Ragalox. Then you have the Facebook Ragalox fan page. What are them out there, man? When you go to the website, you can just navigate from the website, ragalox.com. Yes, me? So, yeah, so. yeah, 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 yeah. Twitter and everything. Yes, me? Yeah, man. And also, there's a third album out there, Rastology. Tell me about it. Rastology is the um, album where... Because what happened, like I say, after the Step on the Babylon album were released and I go on with them things, I never really get a chance to really promote it because family issues, you know? Family issues at the time and I had to pay more attention to the family at the time. So, um, it kind of youth them did the young and... Music is funny, you understand? That's why I always say music is my life, but at the same time, you have to know because you, you will live your whole life and don't be a part of the youth, them won't. And a lot of musicians go through that, so easy for you to go through that. So, we really did kind of take a break around, you know, a few years back. But I blame you, brother. Yeah, I have no regrets. Yeah. I have no regrets. I you mean, can't, enough musicians make that time to catch up with them and them run out. And brother, them. listen. In all truth and all honesty, my 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 um my marriage ended, but it me have no regrets because me get the opportunity to spend some time with me you them. I remember being all a coach my son, and me you them right now my daughter out to um this year she graduate NYU, and my son I do him second year in a college so. I don't have no regrets. Right yeah, I don't have no regrets. Because it's true we do have a four-year start of you. It's in the great right? Yeah, you know, give thanks, Rasta. Give thanks, give thanks, give thanks, give thanks. Like, yeah, you make you feel that way. You know, it's like, like me say, bittersweet. Bittersweet. So, me give thanks, uh, you know, me prefer talk about them things that done. If you know, say, well, then, boy, I did tour down the whole of Germany and tour down the whole of, and at the same time, now, you can't even say well then boy you did spend a day I want, one of the best memories for me is being a basketball coach for my son you see me I say and 
it was fun. Like a lot of people don't get to say them them do them thing. They remember it when him never did want to play basketball. Me I try to figure out when want to want to roller skate. After roller skate, remember I'll carry him go go watch some with some youth. I roller skate guy why at at them age a young age. Him I tell me oh him I go get him sponsors and oh him I go get them at a young age. I mean imagine that. You understand? And then now. We've seen falling love just fall have the love of basketball and could have been there with him through that time and I was, it was yeah you know so me glad for that yeah glad one for that. Glad a for special that. moment yeah me glad for that you know me glad for that big them up to big up my son and my daughter we have in store for them for the future all right here we go now so in the Rastology album out there please go support do also please me a big enough um subscribe to my YouTube Ragalox R A G G A L O X Spotify and uh, Apple Tunes you know, music is Stream on them something there, Facebook on them something there, and rare, rare, rare. I want to hear them something there. Um, the Rastology album, me, 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 um, me, I juice right now because what happened with the Rastology album? Me have some music on it. Bear with me also, I may have to change the cover on the album. I never really because the, the, me have a spliff on it and it me take me problem for promote because the social media them don't want to promote that image. So bear with me, me have to change that. But it have some hits on it. See, some songs are depend on some big rhythm where they are wrote. Some people never know say me depend on them rhythm. They have never know say I'm missing them song there. So me I wear the album they know me just hear say two of the two of them get picked up on Sirius XM, which is huge for me. See, now what me have in store for them is some something where I me I can about them something. Yeah, them something where like me say me I go after some other kind of money. Yeah, more some real publishing money, some movie money, some. Some some soundtrack money and some yeah some me write some different kind of reggae music you understand but rewarm the pace with them thing I mean, people them know about the latest ride and time for we drive from Jamaica to yeah and burn down the whole place and thing. but we have some new something like nobody knows my pain nobody cares how I'm feeling worse me arrest a man and look like money man everybody swear I got it going on but sometimes. We face tough times, but I know through love we survive. Tough times, we face rough times, but I know through love we survive. I lost my dad, my job, two mentors in the same year. Type of stuff that make you say life just ain't fair. So I traded my life for a plain fear to spend time with my mom. Now she ain't here. Music is my life and it is my breath of fresh air. Virus got us locked down from last year, but my kids motivates me to get there, so I get there. But sometimes we face tough times, isn't it? Them kind of something that ain't gonna stop climbing and climbing. We're heading to the top. Oh, yes. Ain't gonna stop climbing and climbing. We're heading to the top. Whoa, yeah. Me tell them sky is the limit. We're in it, we win it. When time we started, we no plan for finish. By any means necessary, we bring it. Wing it, we swing it, we rim it, we fling it. Sometimes we DJ, sometimes we sing it. Sometimes we go like when we are flim it. Things that we out, tell them we're still in it. Think we are lose, we still are. Ain't gonna stop. Climbing and climbing. Yeah, you know, we don't start work. You understand? You know, so, all right, all right, we can't go all night. Camera lights, ragalocks, I got next. Tune them vice and the picture, them tech. Video them shoot on the website. Make ragalocks.com 2G's one. After me take a look of break, few years, couple months and I pre. How music get done. No lyrics, no write a beer, I pass stunt. No, but the weed, no smoke, I be a drunk. Some of them come in and the locks just a front. Full up the music, I be a rum punch. But before them mash up the whole thing like Donald Trump, me I tell them this straight up. Music needs me, believe me, then I pop this down like wire fence. Search and me can't find where the fire went. So me have to forward out a retirement. I the music needs. Although <laughs> Baba Peter Tabet, I tell them send up a surprise when them hear this one. Never expect me for they hear this long. Me don't know why they fool them or this man can't wash me up and turn me down like no dish pan, you know long. Ragalax them forget rich man long before. Stitching and Santon Christian, but you I listen last would have never switch pan with the put up races. I use it needs. <laughs> Yes, brother. That's yes, the thing. That's the thing. That's the thing, brother.
Raga. Yeah, man. Yes, Jess. It's a joy reason with you, my brother. You know, King, why yeah. me give thanks, brother? I me give thanks. I want to tell the people, I say, yo, me just give thanks to the people who has always been supporting me. I me a big, you know, please work with me. Because, like we said, we're old school. So, <laughs> 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 we have some work to do with the social thing. You know what I mean? So, we uno can assist in sharing and following and liking and posting and reposting. We're asking for the help. Do Especially upon the um, the subscribe something there and the um, the the the, 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 the other what, what, which other one? What for the follow? Union Media TV. Union Media TV. Big up on yourself. Union Media TV and do subscribe here so too. Yeah, and when you done subscribe over over here so, you not go over Ragalax R A G G A L O X and subscribe over this too. Yeah. 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 Uh. They're on YouTube, same way to my brother. Brother, I'm oh. on everything, brother. All Pandora, brother. Everything, brother. I'm a tough fact. I just find out, I tied that link. And it hey, all of them, brother. It <laughs> all of them, brother. Yeah. Pandora link, the bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, me, I'm big enough for this. You know, tell a friend to tell a friend and share and, you know, them something there. And we're coming at you. No matter what another way I come from, trust me, because. That's the next part of the thing. Once this thing free up and over, yeah, we're coming in in a new year in the Caddy Wood. We're coming for now. Remember me tell you that. Yeah, real something, brother. So the thing real is something. Right the, no, yeah, man, I just say something there. Yeah. You just say something there. Yeah. yeah, man. So, yeah, just get ready. You see me? Yeah, man. So, people, there you go, you know. Next great addition, a reason we are reason. More like Ragalex in other place. You don't know. Like and subscribe, Union Media TV. Big up to Father Kete. You don't know, I'm always a hold on the foot and make sure everything boom bang and things. So big up to Kete, big up to Father Fingers, big up to Apache Sound Station and everybody out there. Apache Sounds. I mean, I'll tell you, man. Yeah. Cool, man. Yeah, <laughs> so we know the thing now, man. For real, now the thing connect back, man. Yeah. Yeah, real something. Yeah. And you go so far back a while ago, you didn't even realize what you're saying. You know who you big up to, Kawhi? Who that? Raga Lex, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jada, we get catch off, guys. No, it's a part of the thing. Yeah, it man. was Ragal X before it was Ragalox. Ragalox, yeah, yeah. Where people have to know that too, cause some people know Ragalox too, you know.